comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um, <laughs> uh, no. If you messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, Senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that might be what this is all about. Your right to privacy, the limits of your right to privacy, and how much you give away in modern America in the name of, quote, connecting people around the world. So I'm just here to pick up my uh, wallet because I forgot my wallet in his car. Uh, and while I'm here, yeah. uh, what is this? I have no clue. Oh, my God. Small glass pipe. I'm pretty sure it's methamphetamine. Have you used drugs before? Only weed. Sometimes I smoke Just weed. weed. Yes. Okay. Um, a little bit of uh, meth, but it's been 90 days that I haven't touched anything at all. Okay. Have you used your phone today? Yeah, I was using to uh, call Raj before I fell asleep. Okay, yeah. Raj is not Susan, right? Susan? No. Who's Susan? Susan, uh, I, you know what? I have no clue. But you sent a message several hours ago saying you have snow and weed, baby, and we can party a little. Snow and weed, baby, and party a little? Yeah, this is your album. That was a lie. That was a lie. You didn't send this text message. No. Who is this message like? Yeah, no baby 100 for an hour, so it sounds like haggling on her price. No text, no. Uh -huh. explicitly so that police cannot be brought up on charges. Right. The so that, that, that's the failure of capitalism. And it does what it's, so yeah, it does what it's supposed it to do, but it what does, it's supposed to do right. is... Right. And that, that's the failure of capitalism. Right. Okay. No, the failure of capitalism is that when it, even when it's working the way it's supposed to, uh -huh. people it is, still get hurt. And it's uh -huh. still not succeeded. Not succeeded. Because it's not, because individuals are still being repressed. I see. And that is what capital, capitalism is inherently an oppressive uh -huh. system. Uh-huh. And the communism is inherently a what system? Successful. And Successful. Not it's, it's the point of communism is liberation. So it's a society that puts people's common needs before individual selfishness. And when was the last time that the communist system ever succeeded? It was its failures. I'm about to put on these glasses uh, that are going to cure my color blindness for the first time in my life. <sighs> yeah, let me tell you about the color of blue. Oh, what about the color? What is, oh, red, I think it is. How about yellow? You guys like yellow? Oh, what about a little green? Huh? How about green? <gasps> purple? You guys like purple? Oh. A Rockville man on the scene of a house fire today just walked up to police and said he set the fire. I just poured gasoline on the floor, set it on fire, and went to buy a drink and came back. How did setting this fire help just, you? Just, just, just. Just so you could get here, so you could get to call for your attention. Following our interview, Carlos walked up to these Rockville police officers. Just look at their faces, absolutely stunned to hear a man claim to be a Parsons. Latinos here in this country that do agree that the immigration problem is a problem and it does need to be addressed and it does need to be fixed. Interesting. But making uh, those comments, those racist comments, do not help. And, it does, and if, yeah. you, if you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? Oh, that's... In the sense that, you know what? want to know how many stars are on this flag. 51. Oh. All right. What do the stars represent? They represent 
Let's see, is it the... You can't, don't physically count, it's like a quiz. It's some, something about the states, right? All right. Something about the states. Each state? But there's not 51 of them. Oh, you guys are like, look stupid. How many states are there? said legitimately, okay, it's close to gold, not really, gold is limited, uh, uh, and has been around a long time, and it's close to a fiat currency, not really a fiat currency, is what the government says, this is your legal tender, you have to give it and accept it. And there's a central bank, now of course they can misuse it, the central bank, and inflate it, so there is a use case for Bitcoin, if you live in Venezuela, North Korea, or if you're a criminal, <laughs> Great, great product. <laughs> no more violence against women. Power to the women! No more violence against women! I support it, I support it. 20 years! No, but I'm, I'm all up for that non violence against women. I'm not violent, whoa! I'm not violent, no, 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 I'm, I'm supporting everything you guys do. Excellent. Power to the women! No more. We are all here. Oh my days. Hey, relax, relax, relax. Relax. I'm totally with everything you do. I'm, I'm with everything you do. You don't know. Don't be, you're giving all the feminists a bad name. Relax. Whoa, relax yourself. Relax. You're giving all these people a bad name now. Be the feminist. I'm supporting it. Power to the women. No more violence. Stop shouting at me. Just enjoy the thing. Don't be making it all the time. So oh, I'm a man, I support it. How much? Why did you step on my prime money? What's wrong with you? Well, move back now. Give it up. Don't be so angry. Bloody feminist. Give it up. Give it up. Don't be so aggressive. Exactly. You're so aggressive. Relax. I'm supporting this. Stop shouting in my face. I'm supporting this. Shut up. Relax. I'm so Shut up. What the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? Why did she do that? Fucking women power! That's, I'm not. That's that's ridiculous. Oh my god, women power! How's about some party power, silly woman? Drunk with you. Get these these lava bridges that cross them over. Uh, sort of in the same way you get snow bridges over crevasses, but you've got to be really, really careful crossing these just because you don't know what's solid and what's hollow underneath. I'm not gonna do it, because I shouldn't do this, right, Grandma? Grandmaster Bruce Silva here. There's a big demonstration that's coming up next week, Saturday, but for now we have a sneak peek. So we're gonna start right over here, is that right? Yes, okay. 21.2 pounds. That's the brick right there? Right. Okay, and why, why the glass? I'm gonna break that concrete slab with that glass without breaking the glass. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. That's incredible. Wait, no, and to be honest, I actually felt these bricks. These are real bricks. I mean, there's, there's no don't. Oh, 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 oh. wow. Check it out, baby. <laughs> and I, no one's heard from her since. Did you see her hang out with anyone at the time? I mean, no, no, no one has seen her since Saturday. I haven't seen anything. I mean, I've always heard noise outside, but it's just people walking by pretty much. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, she just recently graduated from Mercer. Yeah, she and I were we were both JD students. Um, we graduated back in May. 
What kind of person was she? I mean, how did you, what did you see? I mean, she's as nice as can be. I mean, very personable, very much a people person. Do you know anybody that, any enemies she might have had, somebody that might want to hurt her? No, I mean, we're, we don't know where she is. I mean, the only thing we can think is that maybe she went out running and someone snatched her. Because, I mean, we went at, we went over, one of her friends had a key, we went inside and tried to see if there was anything amiss, but, I mean, she had a door jam that was sitting right by it, so there was no sign that anyone broke in. I mean, the door was locked when everyone got here. I mean, we, we just don't know where she is. What about um, in the, like, the parking lot area? I know they've been doing a lot of, I think that's where they have recovered the body or whatever they recovered from there. Body? Um, had you heard anything? Had you seen anything? I mean, we don't know if this is safe. You know what I mean? Like, they said that body was hurt. So that's why we're trying to ask people if they know who did there. Wow, since I've seen you, and I mean, like, you look, so, you look so beautiful today. Thank you. Like, you was everything I wanted in a man, and you know, I like chubby guys. You know, I call you my teddy bear. Mm -hmm. But there's something that I have to tell you. Anything. I'm a chick with. The <laughs> right. So you used to have it, or you like still? I still have it. I'm not gay. Okay. You're a dude. I'm a dude. I'm not a man. I'm a trans woman. And how are you going to yes. address me as a trans woman? Because I go to the women's bathroom. I take hormone pills. I've had surgery. So therefore, I'm a trans woman. Yes. Does, does this look right, right to you? Did you see a man when we went hooked up in the bathroom? No. No, but I do now. OK, so what's the problem? I'm not gay. Do, well, I, do I look gay? Are you mad because my d is bigger than yours? <laughs> It's just a live stream. I'm not recording a video. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can turn it off, I can't. It's like a live. It's a live stream. I. It's not recording. Don't worry. It's not recording or anything. So what is it doing? Um, I'm just talking to my friends. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I just. I'm just exploring LA, and so they're just watching. How was your night? Good. How was your night? Good. 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 What's your name? Caroline. Sebastian, nice to meet you. You're looking for Caroline, right? Yeah, wh where, where are you visiting from? From Washington, D.C.? Oh, D.C. Well, I live here. Oh my god, that's awesome. Are you an Uber? No. Oh my god, drop me off. You can't live at all unless you can live fully now. Cuidado, Jose, cuidado, Jose. Si, aquí es mejor.
Uh, now, what are you working on here? They were telling me this is one of your prized possessions. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a Baracus Cherub. It's, it's actually been a very tough piece to do. We've been working on it for about eight hours right now. we still got quite a ways to go on it. Uh, it's a beautiful piece when, we're, when we'll be done. Now, will you do some ice carvings on the spot while you're out here? Yes, absolutely. Um, we're doing some of the carvings uh, each day. And uh, again, you'll see me working on this piece a little later on in the freezer and finishing it up. But uh, for example, this weekend, we're going to be doing some gargoyles uh, off of the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. Uh, so there'll be some other pieces that are recognizable. Now, can I take a closer look at this? Because why is this your pro... Oh, oh my God. I am so sorry. I am, I am, I am so sorry. Are you serious? I'm so sorry. It was just an accident. We'll talk to management. I'm, I'm, shutting it down. I, I'm tired of guys like this. And then the fate of the brake was taken out of the hands of the riders. A movable bridge became an immovable obstacle for the quartet. They could not pass. And as the bridge lifted, they could only wait helplessly at the barriers for the pack to catch them. going to own the Facebook content? The person who puts it there or you? The, the person who's putting the content on Facebook always owns the information and that's why this is such an important thing and, and why Facebook is such a special service that people feel a lot of ownership over. Thank you. I like yours as well. Track soon, hopefully. Yeah, That'd yeah. Be great yeah. feature. Get some late night phone call and that. Of course, yeah. Pillow talk and that. You ready for that? You know, pillow talk. A little bit of pillow talk. A little be pillow good. and that. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> we could talk in the daytime. Of, yeah. You're quite scintillating. Scintillating. Yeah. Nice. Well, define that. What's that? Define it. Define what? Scintillating. You define it. You define it. You said it. English is not really my strongest subject. Of course. Well, I'm glad you said it. Hey, I'm Andrew Hales. Welcome to another edition of Chatting With. I'm here with a flat earther, um, Ryan Zim. Yep. The shape of the earth is a disc. Yeah, here's a picture of it. Okay. Um, you got you got Antarctica that goes all around the, the globe. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, that doesn't work. You got Antarctica that goes all the way around the earth. <laughs> What's up guys, today we're out at the skate park and we're going to be skating the ramps and I feel like it's going to be a good skate session. Like the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. 
What if I told you Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act are the same thing? Do you think that that was, was fair of them to do? I understand that they needed to take a stance. And while I don't necessarily maybe agree with it, mm -hmm. I do respect it. I do respect it. But how does that uh, affect your bottom line? Um, want to know the real answer? Yeah, of course. It, it, it hurts, but it's not like I'm drowning. It's, it's, I don't, I try not to live my life thinking about money. At 22 years old, I bought my first house for $6.5 million, but I wasn't quite satisfied, so I had a koi pond put in. Painted the walls of the guest house. Bought a giant truck known as the Yeti. Bought a school bus, and then turned it into a cool bus. Installed a home theater system. Is he a law enforcement officer? How'd you get here? My car. You got any guns? I lost them. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? Yes. Okay, where, where's it at? On my hip. Okay, so we thought. Are you a police officer? I'm not. No. Okay, all right. What are you? A federal marshal. Okay, all yeah, right, that's what we had to have an ID? No. Okay. Just, just, we don't want you reaching for anything. I'm not reaching for anything. If you're a federal marshal, you understand what we're doing, I, right? Absolutely. Just, do you have your federal marshal ID? No. So okay. you're carrying a weapon with no ID on you? No. Because I just stepped out of my house to okay. get this character. Do you have a number we can call for your supervisor? No. Okay. I got to so take this for you just for uh, our safety. Handcuff me. For what? Until we figure out what's going on. You have a weapon. You have no ID on you. It's not a real weapon. You're carrying a fake weapon. Yeah. And you're a federal marshal. No. And he's got a little battery. Are you not? No. Congratulations. You're just impersonating a police officer. That's a federal right. offense. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. That's a felony. Good eye. دارت السرطان اليوم Look at your little girl, look at your little boy, you love them, don't you? Yes, I do. But you don't think they're yours? Just everybody just kept on every time we were out somewhere, my, my family, they would just say that they're not, there's no way. At all. Amanda says she didn't cheat on you. That's what she says. You believe her? I, a part of me wants to believe her, yeah. but the insecurities after with everything that's went on in our life, it's everything's just hard. Can I tell you something? We asked her to take a lie detector test. She wouldn't do it. Oh. All he does is question our twins, and I'm positive he's the father. I have never cheated on James. When it comes to four-year-old Stormy, James. You are not the <laughs> My kids, my kids know who you are. When, when you put out content like that, do you realize the age of your audience? It's odd because Michael, I'm 22 years old. It's not like I'm making content necessarily for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I cuss. Sometimes I make uh, inappropriate jokes. I want to make jokes that kids my age are going to like. I'm my own demographic. <laughs> I 
every parent I meet whose kids are under the age of like 12, I go, hey, you, you let your kids watch my stuff and they Okay guys, that is the vlog. If you're not a part of the logo, you can see right here. We are! <laughs> And also, guys, you want to tell them where to get the hottest merch in yeah. the game? Oh, and we'll be continuing the manifesto on which the Conservative government was elected in 2015. Uh, so I don't think there's a, a need for an election. I think the next election would be in 2020. Let me make this very clear because, again, it's very important. Under current law, the next election will be in 2020. No ifs. No buts, no snap elections, no changing the law. Under you, is that absolutely certain that we're not going to see an election before I'm, 2020? I'm, I'm not going to be calling a snap election. Where we agreed that the government should call a general election to be held on the 8th of June. I want to explain the reasons for that decision. natural to breastfeed how did like the species get to where it is now like why didn't we die out several millennia ago i think we found other ways like formula to feed the babies so and okay, years so ago, like in, during the medieval period like where did you get the similac then well, well I, yeah exactly i'm not quite sure but, not quite sure. but this breastfeeding oh. phenomenon has been going on for the last 10 years for the last 10 years but before that our mothers weren't all exactly into breastfeeding you had the the feminism the the revolution the 70s women did not breastfeed like they do nowadays so the breastfeeding okay. has not always been the answer. Feminists, as usual, are helping to obscure biological realities because they don't like them. And that's an attack on science, it's and I'm a, against it's that. A, it's a study that's just saying it's inappropriate to say that breast milk is the only natural way to feed a child. A man could naturally feed a child in other ways. Well, actually, it's, a man can't naturally feed a well, child. A man can't produce can formula. I mean, baby like, what, and naturally is... give it uh, formula. It's natural. It's the natural. Loving is natural. It's just, it's just, can, can you just take three steps back? loses a billion dollars in a single year. Hi, Wendy. My name is Kendra. How are you doing? Very well, Kendra. How can I help you? So I've been married for six years, and me and my husband just had our first baby girl about nine months ago. Congratulations. Aww. Thank you. So before we were married, he promised me we would have two kids, and now he doesn't want any more. My friends think I should trick him and stop taking my birth control. <laughs> what do you think, Wendy? <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say this because I don't like spousal lying. However, men have never been in control of our bodies. We're the ones in control. I'm not going to suggest that you do that, but look into my eyes and tell me, <laughs> and tell me what I'm saying. Okay. He promised. Right. Wait, let, can I just take a quick poll? Clap if you think that she should trick him. My people.
told me in 2004, when I was getting started with Facebook, that a big part of my responsibility today would be to help protect the integrity of elections against interference by other governments, um, you know, I, I wouldn't have really believed that that was going to be something that, that I would have to work on 14 years later. I'm going to challenge but, well, you. We're here now. I'm going to challenge you. Have you and done we're going to make sure that we do a good job at Have it. you done a good enough job yet? Um, well, I, I think we will see. But you know, I think what's clear is that in 2016, we were not as on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, which one of the other players on the other team would you say are your biggest competition in this game? Mm, no one, bitch. <laughs> well, you have lost three matches in a row, yeah. so that kind of makes you the The DNA test results show that you two You're half-brothers. <laughs> <laughs>